According to historian Tom Holland, it is history's most exciting, most extraordinary political story whose main character has left his mark on the fabric of time and whose fame endures through the ages. For podcaster, ex-soldier and former politician Rory Stewart, the character is a disgrace in every way. The man in question is Julius Caesar, subject of the BBC's new three-part documentary series, in which Holland and Stewart examine popular Roman general who became a tyrant from different perspectives. Holland admires Caesar as a colossal figure. Stewart fights against his principled enemy, Cato. Julius Caesar The Making of a Dictator opens November 27, features dramatized scenes depicting Caesar's rise and fall, his ambitions, intrigues, alliances, conquests as he laid waste to five centuries of the Roman Republic in just 16 years. This is how some of those closest to Caesar tried to stop the march towards tyranny. An NBC. It shows him being stabbed with daggers his body while sitting on his golden throne in the Roman Senate March 44 BC parallels are drawn with today's populism and its echoes seen in leaders such as Donald Trump, Jair Bolsonaro and Vladimir Putin. Holland said Caesar exists in our imaginations either as an example to be imitated or as a warning. From history, Alexander Leith executive producer of series, said that three-whore docudrama format allows nuances of characters to be revealed and allows audience to engage with story as directly as possible. Its dramatized scenes were filmed at Villa Ventorum, a reconstructed Roman house in Somerset. Archaeologists, conservators skilled craftsmen spent seven years excavating and recreating the villa its gardens using pieces of original material found at the site. In addition to Holland Stewart, contributors to the series include former head MI5 Jonathan Evans, Shelley Haley, professor of Africana Studies and Classics at Hamilton College in New York State, Shami Chakrabarti, former director of the Civil Rights Advocacy Group. According to Stewart, the conclusion glosses over Caesar's deep flaws. I think Caesar is a terrible figure. He told The Observer. The series doesn't emphasize enough the fact that the guy is corrupt, in huge debt, and sleeping with everyone. In the documentary, he is presented as a big man. A macho, silent man who wants to side with the people against conservatives. When you see people talk about Caesar this way, you understand why democracy is in trouble. People are intoxicated by his success. However, Cato ultimately opposes the government. Rory Stewart, who stars in a new documentary series about Caesar, describes the Roman leader as an immoral, irreligious and political tyrant. Murdo MacLeod The Guardian The Trump echoes were obvious on the show. Stewart says, both men are basically inciting a mob to achieve their goals. Part the popular appeal of populist politicians. Holland says, is, Renaline Rush seeing traditional orders trampled a